everyone. Welcome back to One Startup World, our 2023 summer conference. Uh, it is the premier global startup conference dedicated to helping innovative and disruptive startups succeed. It's the perfect platform and meeting space for startup founders to pitch their ideas, gain valuable insights, connect with other like-minded entrepreneurs, industry experts, potential investors, and potential partners, all learning from the best in the business. We're next joined uh, for our next segment uh, by the CEO of Val VPN, Eric Menzel, and he's joining us today from Columbus, Ohio. Eric, welcome. Let me hand it off over to you. We look forward to your uh, your presentation on the company. Hi, thanks, Glenn. I appreciate the introduction. My name is Eric Menzel. I'm the founder and CEO of Val VPN, the only single-use, fully dedicated, and self-destructing VPN service on the market today. So I founded Vail VPN when uh, I was traveling for some private equity and, and uh, uh, previous work that I was doing around the world in Central America, South America, Africa, all over the place. And I realized that there was a definite need in the market for a new solution, and I invented it. So let's talk about what's going on in the current market. The current market for VPNs has not really innovated for a long time. It's just using the old protocols and the old way of doing it. And we've reached out to the existing users in that market, and we surveyed over 2,000 of them and got a phenomenal response. 49% of current users say that solutions in place right now are very slow. 37% said they're really complicated, and 20% indicated that they were too easy to block. Now, this is just in the consumer space alone. This isn't even touching the enterprise market. And this space is growing at $44 billion a year annually and has over 1.5 billion global users. And it's growing at 22% CAGR. So there's a phenomenal opportunity. And that's just in the consumer space. We haven't even talked about enterprise. So how did I solve these pain points and how am I taking advantage of this opportunity? Well. I innovated on the wheel. We've had the wheel since the time, as long as humanity has existed, we've had the wheel. We've also had luggage. But did you know that it wasn't until 1972 that somebody took a patent out and put wheels on luggage? Essentially, that's all I did here, is I took two really obvious things and put them together. I took the big cloud and I took VPNs and I put them together in the most optimal way possible. And the solution I came up with and invented was the only single-use, self-destructing, and dynamically configurable VPN solution. It's simple, it's fast, and it's more secure. So it's super easy. With one touch of a button, you could launch your own fully dedicated single-use server in the largest clouds in the world. And that includes Amazon, Google, Microsoft Azure, Oracle, you know, even IBM, if that's your thing. This solution is super fast. You're getting a fully dedicated server every time you want to launch one. And that's 34% faster on average in speed and a 98% lower ping because you can get to the closest servers possible. And it's super secure. Every time you launch your own private secure server, you're getting a brand new IP from the cloud provider. And that server is fully patched. It's not having to be maintained by some shady offshore company. So what about Vail VPN? We're a mission-driven organization leading the world to empower our worldwide users to safely surf, stream, and connect. Really, did you know that there's over 10 countries in the world where freedom of speech and freedom of content is actually a punishable offense? It can even land you a death penalty. Our mission at Vail is to bring freedom of information and freedom of speech essentially the First Amendment to the entire world. And to do that, we have patent pending technology to create these single use disposable VPN servers in these large cloud providers. Let's take a look at the competitive landscape. The truth is the barrier to entry in this market is very low. The reason it's low is because all you need to do is start a server somewhere and then use one of many, many different protocols and just allow users to connect to those servers. The current way of doing that is to cram as many users as you can into a single server, which degrades the performance, degrades the security, and the overall ability of that user to perform or connect. They're very easy to block. 
We innovate on all of these fronts and the current top consumer VPNs can't even touch it. And we're not even talking about the enterprise side. We innovate in the SASE side as well, secure access service edge with things that the big players, the 800 pound gorillas don't have like Cisco and CloudFront and Palo Alto networks. They're not doing what we're doing, which is full stack control. So let's talk a little about the team I put together. I meticulously selected, handpicked, and, and nurtured and recruited a team to build this. Myself, I'm a technical founder and serial entrepreneur, ran a small early stage incubator in Los Angeles for eight years, working with some private equity guys. I completed my bachelor and master's degree at Harvard University in management and economics. I recruited actually my, uh, my teaching assistant from CS50, the computer science course at Harvard. And he's also the senior project manager at Harvard Law School. Uh, he has his master's in education from Harvard and he's running the technology stack with us. My good friend, Jeff is the cloud architect behind it. And he spent 11 years working inside of Azure at Microsoft actually building out part of their cloud. So he knows the cloud inside and out. Julia does all of our project and product coordination and management. She's like my right-hand person, and she's actually based in the Ukraine. In fact, I have over 12 developers currently working around the clock inside the Ukraine and have recruited an incredible team of talent that's building this product right now. Robin, a good friend, is vice president and serial entrepreneur. He was the founder of Kona Coffee, and he's well familiar with managing large-scale subscription systems to success. So enough about the uh, team and the amazing product. It wouldn't be a fun presentation unless we actually showed it in operation. So I'm gonna stop the share here and we are going to bring up some demo videos. So first, let's take a look at what it looks like from a user perspective to launch Veil VPN as a free user. We have a freemium model. So that means that you can register for nothing and get access to some basic services. We also have adver advertising that we can fully integrate into the user experience depending on your subscription level. So this is a free user launching a free session right now. So again, we have in-app in advertising for upsells and any uh, channel partnerships that we make. And here you can see that the user has limited to three different regions that we're providing on the freemium service. The user selected Tokyo, and at a couple of seconds, they have a fully secure connection into Tokyo. They have all the relevant stats and speed and everything that they need to ensure the security of their connection as it's actively going. So you can see the users able to scroll through and see everything that's going on. Now here, this is just a test account. You can see we have account management that meets all of these. Now, just so you know, we built all of the applications. They're currently live and available inside the app store with upsell plans. So now I'm going to stop this video and we are going to switch over to a premium account. So this is a dedicated launch. So this user has a premium account and when the user launches the application, you see there's no in ad that pops up. So there's no advertising, but the user has a totally different list of servers available. And here you can see all of the different clouds, AWS, Azure, Google, they're available, uh, even Oracle. And here the user is going to launch a private, fully dedicated server in Paris. Now, this is a server that does not exist. And what we're doing here is we're requesting it from our backend command and control system. We're actually creating a brand new server that's starting from a fresh machine image. So that server is starting, it's patching and it's launching right now, live on the AWS system in Paris. So on average, a dedicated server takes anywhere from about 20 seconds to one minute for the user to launch, but there's a lot of security benefits to it. So when the user actually launches that fully dedicated instance, now they have their own private server with much faster, and much better experiences. They're able to unblock more content worldwide and they're able to penetrate various uh, networks such as uh, the Great Firewall of China. We've had a tremendous amount of success in. So 
I'm going to stop this video now and I am going to stop sharing my screen. And that's everything. So this is what we've built at Vail VPN. It's an amazing service. And we launched it in November of 2022 on Kickstarter. And we were the number one software Kickstarter in 2022. And with that, we gained about 2,000 initial paid users. And since then, we've grown from 2,000 to over 11,000 users today. So we're actively looking for our first round of investment from you, you know, any investors that are interested in cybersecurity, consumer, and enterprise applications. And with that, I'd love to throw the uh, floor open to any questions I can answer. Thank you, Eric. Great, great job. Great, great job. And you, uh, most of most of what you talked about at the moment again is B two C, right? Uh, yes. Cons cons consumer, consumer, uh, consumer as the as the end customer there. Pretty, pretty, pretty dramatic growth rates already as well, for sure. Even even on your survey, that that those were some good, good, good hit rates because oftentimes we all know we all know what happens with surveys, right? You don't necessarily you don't necessarily get those kinds of responses back. Yeah, and I could tell you, Glenn, the the market is so hungry for innovation. They're just tired of the same old thing. Do you see a migration in your customers? Do they start off on the freemium side and then kind of work their way to the premium account? Um, or do you have direct entry into premium? How, how does it typically work? We're actually seeing a lot more of the direct entry into the paid account. Uh, okay. But we are working. That's why we have the upsell screens. We're seeing a small conversion, one or two percent of those freemium accounts. Uh, you know, the problem in the VPN market and the consumer space is not growth. It's actually a fire hose that you have to very carefully turn on. <laughs> so the more servers we make available, the faster we can turn that fire hose up. Now, on the uh, again, being being <laughs> the less than a novice at at, the, at this kind of at this kind of stuff. With the premium account, as you're you, 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 on your scrolling there, you make available many more servers than say, just on the on the on the free on the free account side. Um, the availability is of those servers is is that really the the function of where you want the message to go or the information to go or the data to go or doesn't it matter? Like why would somebody pick you had a choice down there as EU West, for instance? Why would somebody pick that as as the server? Great question. You know, great example would be what you want to stream or access. So some, for instance, TV shows are only available inside okay. of the European Union. We would suggest to our users that if you want to watch Better Call Saul season six, that you launch a dedicated server in Paris, because you'll, your server that you start and, and initialize will probably be right next door to the server that's streaming it to you. That's, that's, that's pretty. So it's almost like there's, 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 you have endless you have endless opportunities to for for new content, viewing, getting getting access to different to different markets for, for sure, as you as you as you work through it. Nice nice team you've assembled there uh, through some of your some of your educational efforts as well. I, I wish I had a teaching assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, but uh, to date, but uh, but good for you and, and building building the company building the company that way. From from a marketing standpoint, you think of you think of the different uh, potential competition and stuff. How how do you how do you see the marketing unfolding for, for your company going forward? Is is it is it really do you have like kind of like a discipleship from your users and you know word of mouth? Is it is it more targeted ads? How how do you see it growing going forward? Yeah, so you know this market is really broken into specific consumer segment and tunnels. And we've identified those tunnels. You know, you have your streamers, you have your privacy advocates, you have your security zealots. You know, these are people that, you know, have specific targeting needs. And what we've done is we've developed funnels for each of those profiles, and we're feeding those funnels from the top. And that, you know, the feeding way we've done, we've done no paid advertising. What we've done is all social media marketing with our team. So we have a couple of influencers, you know, we're reaching out and creating those partnerships and that type of thing. Uh, ultimately, we're going to go to paid advertising as the major feed source for that with the conversion of those tunnels. Uh, and, and we have that pretty well developed now, and we're refining each of those individual funnels, depending on the targeted segment. Now, you talked about um, taking the First Amendment to the world, right? Kind of surfing, streaming, and connecting. And I think that's, that, that's, a, that's a great that's a well, great cause. How about, how about from a politics standpoint? Think, think about governments and regulations and things. 
Yep. How did they get in your way? Or, or, or are they a potential roadblock coming, coming down the road? How do, do you have to you wind up collaborating with them? How do you see that interaction playing out? So, you know, like I said in the beginning of the presentation, we're a, we're a ESG focused mission driven organization. And so environmentally, we're, we're saving the world from a carbon footprint of more servers being installed. We're just going to use the servers that exist to their best capacity. The social component is all about enabling that First Amendment voice. Over 15% of our current user base are coming out of Iran and China, if you can wow. believe it, in How places where they cannot get access to information and are currently blocked by the current providers. We're the avenue to success for them right now. And the governance side, we're actively promoting. We want to promote that freedom of information worldwide. And it actually, you know, would I love to sit down with the uh, Kabul in Iran and have a chat with them about opening up the world of freedom? Sure, I'd love that. I don't think it's going to happen, but I will promote and strongly promote, you know, uh, expanding the First Amendment rights to every country in the world. You're, you're a modern day uh, uh... Armed Forces Radio Network for sure. As you get as you get as you get that message out, and again, you said you're you're going going here in the first round of funding, as, yep. as you work through. It. How about from a techno technology standpoint, intellectual property? You have patents in place, or or, or trademarks, or, or service marks. How 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 are you protecting protecting what you guys do? So we have patent pending on the single use and fully dedicated self destructing dynamically configurable piece. So that's patent pending. Um, realistically, there's going to be about four patents come out of this, including some machine learning penetration side, um, you know, and it's all funding dependent on choosing which patents to pursue, right? On, on the self-destructing side, if I could, if I could, if I may, if I yeah. could come back and if you're looking for like a, a theme song, maybe the Mission Impossible. That's funny. It's uh, <laughs> one of the things I used to explain to uh, novices that don't understand the technology is, do you remember those old spy movies where your message will self-destruct? That's it. That's it. I invented that for the internet. <laughs> like smoke coming out of coming out of the uh, out of the computer at the end. But well, good right. for you. Good for you, Eric. Great, great conversation. Great, great slideshow. Thank you for you. Thank you for uh, for all the good work you're doing with Valve VPN. We wish you the best of luck going going forward. Please stay in touch with us. Let us know how things are going. And thanks for joining us at One Startup World, Eric Menzel, everybody, uh, CEO of Val ValPN. Great work, Eric. Thank you. Everybody, have a great day. All right, take care. Bye. Stay safe.